Hi, this is Frank Taylor at Nature at Your Door, and today's episode is going to be about eastern diamondback rattlesnakes, and I'm going to go out and actually look for them. I'm here in Florida for January for a week to add to my extensive Florida playlist on all things Florida, all kinds of trees and shrubs and animals, including this eastern diamondback. So today's episode, I'm going to go out into eastern diamondback habitat and try to find one. And here's a spoiler alert, I was able to see one today and I'm so excited to share it with you. Eastern diamondbacks are beautiful and also intriguing because they're the largest rattlesnake in North America and the most venomous of all the snakes in North America. More people have died from eastern rattlesnake bites than from any other venomous snake. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. Eastern diamondback rattlesnakes can be found from North Carolina, south to Florida, and west to Louisiana. In fact, here in Florida, they thrive in habitats like this, and they've been reported in every single county. They love this kind of environment, these pine flatwoods, these relatively dry sandy forests with palmetto thickets. This palmetto thicket type habitat is the best place for these rattlesnakes. It has lots of cover and it also has lots of cover for the things they eat like mice and rats and as older adults, birds and rabbits. I'm here to add to my Florida flora and fauna playlists. And while I'm here, I'm being very, very careful to look for the eastern diamondback rattlesnake and see if I get lucky. So as I've been walking along these trails, I keep an eye out for diamondback habitat and figure that they're going to be underneath things. So I've been lifting up logs, turning over things, looking underneath palmetto fronds, hoping to find a snake lying quietly, waiting for things to warm up a little bit. It's a little bit cool today, so I'm not expecting them to be so active. Eastern diamondback rattlesnakes are crepuscular, so that means they're more active in the early morning and the late evening. And in Florida, that makes sense because on really hot days, they'll go down underground or in cover under burrows and come out in the evening when it's cooler and it's the same time that the other animals are going to be coming out and being active as well. Eastern diamondback rattlesnakes are usually simply ambush hunters. It means yep. they'll lie in wait. In my experience with snakes, like when I found this timber rattlesnake up in West Virginia, is they like to be undercover. They like to be covered by something, but have free access to anything that's passing in front of them. And they can watch and also at night sense with their pits. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake is a pit viper. And all pit vipers have heat seeking pit so they can identify and see prey at night by sensing their warmth. As I'm looking for these snakes and other reptiles or amphibians, I like bringing my camera down to snake level so you can see exactly what their habitat is. They really love the cover afforded by these places here in Florida. Now while I'm looking under things, you need to keep in mind that rattlesnakes can climb as well, and they have been seen several feet up in trees. Another thing that may be surprising, perhaps terrifying, is that they can swim and they will swim in salt or fresh water and can sometimes be found miles out in the bay as they move from island to island. Here on Honeymoon Island, I'm walking along the edge of this pine flatwoods with uh, abundant sable palm and sawtooth palmetto in it. And I know that this time of the year, these snakes will come out in the afternoons to sun themselves on this walkway. So I'm checking out these palmetto fronds that are laying along the sidewalk and here is where I get lucky. So I lift up the frond and sure enough there's a beautiful eastern diamondback rattlesnake. Now you can recognize it as an eastern diamondback because of the brown diamonds on its back that are outlined in a white 
or cream colored background. And it's also amazing how here in this dry grass, they just blend right in and it find it hard to focus on its features as they all seem to camo and blend together. It's got an unusually large head. Look how large and flat that head is. And it has a dark diagonal stripe that moves down through its eye, down to its neck, and a, and a diagonal pattern across its head. Just a beautiful, beautiful marked snake. Now this snake doesn't seem to have much of a rattle. Uh, it was hard for me to hear at first, and the camera picked it up the sound better than I could actually hear it. And you can see it's missing some of its rattles. Some people believe you can age a rattlesnake by counting the rattles, and they put a new rattle on each year. The problem with that idea is that these rattles are made of keratin. They're very brittle, and they can break off easily. And I think this one has lost several of its rattles as well. The number of rattles is more suggestive of how many times it molts, and it's likely that they'll produce a new rattle with each molt. The other thing that makes this such great habitat for timber rattlesnakes is the presence of gopher tortoises and their burrows. Gopher tortoises here are known as a keystone species, and their burrows are extensive and can go up to 40 feet underground. And these burrows can shelter as many as 200 different species. When gopher tortoises disappear, species diversity disappears. And these rattlesnakes will use these burrows during the day to stay away from hot summer sun in the middle of the day or to take refuge during days like this where it's kind of cool and cold and they'll come out when it warms up. I was thrilled to be able to find this rattlesnake using what I know about its activity patterns and its habitat and where it likes to be and what it does during the day. I'm so intrigued by these Florida pine woods, flatwoods, Florida hammocks. Check out my playlist for more on Florida's flora and fauna. Remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment. I really love hearing from my viewers and having that interaction. And remember, I cover all things nature, from frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for discovering Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake with me here at Nature at Your Door.